Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Nostalgia Goggles 4-3. Uh, welcome to tonight's stream, uh, where the Toronto Raptors uh, from 1996 take on the Phoenix Suns from 1996. Let's get into it now. Right, folks, so before we get started, uh, this is a new month and we have the results from our first ever uh, patron poll, um, where we figured out the settings that we're going to use. For so. Uh, Two things were unanimous and two things were not. Let's start with the unanimous part first. Uh, after we scored 199 points in the last game, that is clearly far too many points. Uh, so we're going to reduce the quarter length to eight minutes. Uh, that's also a good thing for me because uh, daylight savings time is uh, slowing me down a little bit, so we're going to be a little shorter tonight. Uh, let's see, I don't think the other things were in the rules. No, that's all just standard simulation stuff. Uh, options. Uh, another thing was that was unanimous was that we should switch shot control from player to CPU. Uh, player is what I had been using, so that's basically your standard video game type stuff where you it's based on like releasing the shot at the top of your trumpet, things like that. Whereas CPU uses the actual player's ratings and whatnot. You just give it a realistic percentage. And uh, so my patrons felt that it would be better to have that work. And who am I to argue with that? Now, there were split opinions about computer assistance. You can see here it's off. I've been manually turning it on uh, before each game. But um, frankly, uh, last game, for those of you who were there for game four, uh, computer assistance was on and I was dressed up like Prince and we still won by 65. So I'm not sure it does very much. We're going to leave it off. Spitz the greatest. Let's do this. How's it going, Spitz? And the other setting I'll talk about a little bit once we load the series. So let's get into it here. Toronto, so we've got Phoenix visiting Toronto. Based on today's weather, I wish it was the other way around. But what are you going to do? Take a quick look at the standings here. You can see in the top of the central division over the Bulls from last time. So yes, we do have some other undefeated teams. Uh, Golden State, that's right. Golden State and Toronto, uh, in the top of the league. Who knew? And then uh, New York and Utah, rounding out those who don't have losses. Forgot to check Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix two and two, so they actually finished 500 uh, this season. So that makes sense. Uh, I'll take a look at the rosters real quick just to make sure that my starters are who I want them to be, and it looks like they are. So we'll run with that. And uh, just about ready to go. Uh, before tip off, I do want to mention uh, that 10% of any proceeds from tonight's stream go to the Brian Grant Foundation. Uh, so, Brian Grant, you all saw in the Kings game, um, played for the Kings in this era. He also played for the Suns uh, later in his career. Um, his foundation uh, helps people with Parkinson's to improve their quality of life. Um, and uh, manage their symptoms. So, uh, again, 10% of anything I make tonight will go to them, or if you'd rather donate to them directly, there's a link in my uh, Twitch profile. So come on. Keep going. So my initials. I don't actually know what that does, but it does something. Cheers. Yeah, high of 86 in uh, Phoenix today, Fahrenheit wise, 30 uh, Celsius. All right, the numbers look good. I think we got this. <laughs> Smith, I love playing with options that I don't know what they control. Indeed, sir. Uh, Kevin Johnson, future mayor of Sacramento, Kevin Johnson. Wesley Person, now there's a guy I worked really hard to figure out a way to make it make sense to get on our team. Didn't quite work out. Uh, Barclay, Barclay, I don't know. some guys are power forward. Now you are Toronto Raptors, give it up. I like how uh, Stoudemire looks taller than Barclay from that angle. Oh, Dale Ellis uh, leading the league in scoring at present. Though I don't suspect that's going to continue tonight. You'll see why sure. All right. So it tips off to Tracy Murray, and that brings us to the other setting. Um, 
for the change, which I actually cannot do from the options menu. So this is an old game. Um, we have offensive switch and defensive switch. So ball is the default setting. That's what I've been using, where you just follow the ball around. Um, if I turn it off, that is uh, 1995's version of player lock. So I will be controlling Tracy Murray for the entirety of this game. Now the patrons were split on this matter. Uh, so we'll give it a try for tonight. We'll see how it looks uh, while we're in here. Uh, turn the defensive pressure up. For whatever reason, I tell these guys every game, high pressure, and then every game I have to remind them again. Let's see if there's anything in here I need to touch. No, I don't think we just All right, we'll just take a look at the magic real quick. Yeah, I gotta remind these guys every game to do the basics, seriously. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Um, I live with this. So it looks kind of like with the jet. Apparently, Darnold forgets that interceptions aren't a good thing every week. Uh, well, you know, I guess it depends on what uh, what your goal is. I mean, if you're if you're trusting the process, right? Looking for looking for early picks. There you go. All right, let's get this thing kicked off. All right. No. Where are you going, Oliver Miller? Oh, well, all right. So admittedly, part of a lot of my victories up to this point have been, no. Oh, all right been taking advantage of the AI being dumb as rocks, so now that my AI will also be dumb as rocks. Three! No sweeter sounds. Spit's the greatest not a fan of the camera angle. Hey man, it's isometric. I don't know how else you're gonna get a... Oh! So that button makes them shoot. Alright. I learned something today. Mayor Johnson. Nope. No three there. Hey, good pass. Oh. I gotta stay inbounds to get those. Well, this has been very different from the Suns game so far. Nice. All right. Nope. I say Suns game, I meant Kings game. Very different from the Kings game. A lot of our points have come from uh, turnovers and fast breaks, but... Some, uh, I think the pace is going to be a little slower. Wait, what? Take the shot, man. What are you doing? Uh. <laughs> I can't believe it. There we go. Oh, nope. All right. Let's get this back together. And... Three? No. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's get that. Whew. Not off to a great start. Nope. Put it up. There it is. I made him shoot that. Bill Ellis. That was not his decision. I'm very glad, actually, that I can make the AI uh, shoot, because I, I think I'm going to need to do that. It appears. Hook shots. I have not figured out how to defend the hook shot. Spitz is the greatest. Do you have any suggestions for defending the hook shot? Woo! 
Maybe just hit some threes. Best defense is a good offense. Just two odd Miller. I don't actually know that I'm going to need to substitute in eight minute quarters, but then again, this lineup's not really working. I guess we're only down two. Could be worse. This will give me a good time also to talk about um, Big Ben here. Um, we sat him the other day. He didn't like that. He was asking for a trade. So we got a few options uh, for him. Uh, offers were entertaining. Um, in real life, in uh, November of 95, he went to Milwaukee for Eric Murdoch, great defensive point guard. Um, some other trades that I've highlighted that would be realistic, at least somewhat realistic for the time, would be for uh, Alden Polonese, a uh, great defensive center, or for Sam Perkins, the best three-point shooting uh, center in the league. So if you've got an opinion about that, um, feel free to check out my Patreon. Um, I will abide by all of your decisions. This is my patrons, assistant general managers. Found Ed Pickney much stronger as a power forward. Fully Ellis, I think I'm doing pretty well. Tracy Murray's going to play the whole game. And then player locked on him and whatnot. For this lineup. I don't know that I've ever actually done this lineup before. It'll be interesting. Play some new trailer. Be able to get that new controller. Yes, thank you for the reminder. Uh, so, uh, thanks to uh, your patronage, um, I will be able to uh, get a replacement controller once I'm able to track one down on eBay. Um, maybe at halftime I'll grab the other one. And, uh, show you what I'm talking about. Let's see. How about a pick? That was not a pick. Three at that buzzer. <sighs> Making us look silly. There it is. Boom, shaka layup. So, uh, Mayor Johnson over there did not actually play in this game in real life. He uh, must have been injured. He missed several games around that time. Um, so, I've decided to let the... Uh, there are technically injuries in this uh, game. Uh, at least the settings say so. I've never actually seen it. Oh, no! Hot Rod Williams. Goaltending. I've decided to um, honor their injuries rather than the real-life ones. So the, uh, Mary Johnson's been lighting us up a little bit, so I may regret that. There we go. There we go. Is this our first lead of the game? I think it is. So that's good. It is still winnable on uh, player lock. It's a little concerned about that. Nope. Oof. Home crowd did not like that one. Three. So Tracy Murray, uh, I am number 31. He played for the Raptors this season in real life. Uh, he is actually the has the highest three point rating in the game, uh, not the highest pass rating. As you can see. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, he's rated 95. Uh, Reggie Miller's rated 93. Uh, for comparison, um, he shot an incredible rate uh, with the champion. Yes, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And largely sat on the bench. Just shoot that. There you go. There you go, Trevor Ruffin. Don't just dribble all day. Seven seconds or less. We're playing Phoenix. That's the way it works. Oh no. Nice. Oof. Alright. Ugly will take it. That's a 
That's nuts. In 96, they were still making NBA games for the SNES and the PS and Saturn were on the market. You know, it's interesting. Like this series. So this was the second NBA Live game. The NBA Live series started in 1995. And I actually started uh, 16-bit uh, at the time. Um, so I had 95 and 96 for the Genesis um, as a kid. And then I switched to the PC for uh, 97, 98. And then, but this, so I think of NBA Live as being like a 16-bit series that continued on, but it really wasn't. 95 was the only year that the 16-bit systems were the lead platform of development. By 96, th this game was released for the PS1, um, and that was probably the main version of it. Um, but as a result, uh, the P ah, stop the fast break. That's no fun. How much time is left? 52 seconds. You guys can finish it up. From way out. No. Um, anyway, the uh, PlayStation and PC versions came out a little later. Nice. Go, Dale Ellis. Go. Put it in. Or brick it from not very far away. Um, But yeah, so by the time the PlayStation version came out, um, they had already um, they'd already settled the off-season lockout. So the uh, the Raptors and Grizzlies, ugh, throwing it away. Raptors and Grizzlies lockers uh, rosters were already set, so you couldn't do the expansion draft like you can in the Super Nintendo version. So Super Nintendo version it is. Wow. Two, one, in. Yeah! Nice. That's how you end a quarter. Yeah, they actually kept releasing uh, lives on the 16-bit system until 98, believe it or not. So, it's actually not... Awful. Uh, those numbers are much more realistic. Uh, you may recall the uh, Bulls shot 80% from the field. Uh, us. Oh, some of that might have been the computer system. Yeah, man. By 98, the Dreamcast was coming online in Japan. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, the following year, Live 99, I think, came out for PS1 and N64. They're not even pretending to handle the point guard anymore. Which is probably not a good thing, because I just lost it dribbling up the court. Oof. Nice. You may have noticed I'm kind of playing zone defense under the basket. Uh, that is because I've noticed a quirk of this game is they're less likely to drive when you're down here. And the AI just does not like taking outside shots. Other than those occasional ill-advised long twos. Ah! Make it rain. Well, honestly, it's not a bad idea even in the real league. I wouldn't mind seeing the three-point line go away. But if they did that, I think they'd also have to get rid of defensive three seconds. I push my own guy off the clock. Murray's hot. We'll let him take it. That's what that little flashing star means. It's like the equivalent of being on fire in NBA Jam. Speaking of NBA Jam, one of the nice things about the Super Nintendo version compared to the Genesis is that there's more buttons. There's actually, as you can see here, a dedicated shove button, which I love in a simulation basketball game. 
You take that in, Dale Ellis. Dale Ellis, come on. Fade away. Nope. Fadeaways do not work in this game. I don't know why I keep trying it. I mean, I'm cold now. Now that I missed. Six button controller should have been standard in the new Genesis re release. You're talking about like the Genesis Classic? Too many games are unplayable without it. Three! Yeah, I mean, I had every intention of uh, doing this season on the Genesis. I mean, that was the game I grew up with. And the presentation is just so much better. I mean, you go check the, the video of the uh, the draft when I did all the roster moves. Just painful. And super painful. There were only 12-man rosters, and you're not a lot. Shut up and jam. All right, point taken. waking up. Oh, bad pass. Well, just shoot it, Ruffin. There we go. Wide open, you gotta take those. Yeah, so there's a lot of quality of life stuff I missed from the shoot it, Ruffin. Three! That's it. Um... The Genesis version, but the uh, the physics are better in this one, and there also are little quality of life enhancements. Like there's actually a steel bar. Oh, bad idea. All right, Earl, let's grab. And the Genesis is just auto steel when you get close enough. And the six button controller doesn't do much. It lets you call plays more easily without needing to press the start button. Nope. Short jumpers in this game just do not want to fall. That is a fact. Ruffin and foul trouble again. Trevor Ruffin played for the Suns uh, in 94 95. Had a good season and uh, solid uh, rates of numbers. Um, in very limited playing time, as I almost run out of bounds. And then, Danny Ainge. Nine three-pointers in the first half. It's pretty good. So Danny Ainge was the guy who just beat there. Of course, the member of the 80s championship Celtics. He actually retired before the season started, but uh, they still had him on the roster in this game. Josie still got it. Box four notes. Whoa! All right. Uh, so I guess calling plays can make the AI shoot. Hmm. I'll have to reconsider that. Maybe we should just stick with the quick plays. The giving goes. So the make the AI shoot button is the same as the my player jump up and down like an idiot button. So uh, you may, uh, may see that a bit. Nice. Oh. Bad pass. Yes, I don't know if you saw that. Uh, Mary Johnson was going to drive there, and then he saw me down there and changed the mind. Ainge backing it in, though. All right. Nope. Get that. Nice. Put it up! <laughs> Ugh. The old shove him out of bounds trick. Works every time.
Ah! <laughs> well, we've had significantly more uh, accidental cross court shots in this game than the others. So, in that sense, player lock's been a great success. Good work, everyone. Oof. Brutal. Good thing everybody recharges at halftime. All the same. Put some starters back. Enjoy these beats. Yeah, for sure. It's great. It keeps the game more interesting. Thanks. This is your first stream. Well, thank you for joining. Yeah, in our last game, we uh, beat the Kings by 65. So it uh, definitely has been more even. Nice. Woo. Lionel Simmons. Been a serious dunker for us this season so far. Stoudemire with the foul. So I think that was Tony Smith, not Charles Barkley, one of the quirks of this game is you can't edit player numbers. And Smith wore 34 with the Lakers previous year. Ah, that's not good enough. Pick? No? Nope. Right, well, yeah, give me an open lane, I'll take it. And then I'll miss the shot. You're welcome. Sun's using isolation 7, that's good to know. Haven't quite figured out why sometimes it tells me what the, the other team is running play-wise, but I guess I won't complain. Get that out of there. Nice. I'll take that. Three second violation. Uh, on, this game only has offensive three seconds, uh, which has been called. I am in the key a lot, but only on defense, which in the real NBA is a violation, but I have no idea. I mean, obviously three seconds is coded because they've got it for offense. I don't know why they don't call it for defense. Uh, up by 13 at halftime. This is a much more realistic uh, halftime score, especially for the 90s. 53 to 40. Okay. Tracy Murray with 39 of ours. Two block shots. Barkley quietly, 8.6 rebounds. Well on his way to a double double. Yeah, there we go. Those shot percentages aren't bad, especially once you consider those accidental cross court three point shots. We might be above 50. Um, anyway, in terms of being in the key, the NBA has kind of gone back and forth about it. In college, you're allowed to play zone and you can just hang out wherever you want. Um, three second violation has been around the NBA for a while. But unfortunately, if you don't hang out in the key in this game, uh, they will just shake your guy and drive the lane every single play. And that gets repetitive. Which team started out as the Dallas Chevrolet from the ABA? Hmm. I mean, I would assume the Mavericks, but I don't actually think it is the Mavericks. Let's find out. If anybody has any ideas in the chat, let me know. All right, we'll take a look at substituting here. Uh, but first, uh, since it is halftime, I do want to um, have a shout out to our patrons. Thanks very much to uh, Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist, as well as Spitz the Great. Uh, your, thank you so much for your support, making things possible here. And then as a reminder again, 10% uh, of any proceeds from tonight's stream go to the Brian Grant Foundation, uh, which helps people with Parkinson's uh, manage their symptoms. So uh, please uh, please support them. Check out their uh, link in, in my uh, Twitch profile. Uh, Murray didn't recharge all the way. I guess you just recharge most of the way. Have to. Oh, well. I think he can handle that. 32 minutes again, play. So. Uh, 
he's not quite ready yet either. We'll do that. Put Oliver Miller in. Maybe Ellis. Give him a chance to at least maybe retain some of his scoring titles. I only got two points so far tonight. Guess that'll happen when you play her lock. Well, so while we're stopped, uh, let me grab that controller. See what I'm talking about. So this is what I was using at the beginning of the season. Uh, you can see this is a uh, Capcom made arcade stick for the Super Nintendo. I've uh, been having some problems with it. Input started dropping in one of the games. Um, because, I, oh, sorry about that. Earthquake going up. Um, there was a problem with the cord. And then more recently, the uh, turbo function just started freaking out. Um, it was pressing all the buttons. It tried to trade Carlos Rogers on me. Bad news. I'm not sure exactly what the deal is with that other than the old tech, uh, but uh, now thanks to your support, I can uh, look into a replacement. So, cheers to you. I already did this, but you know, I just want to hear those beats again. All right, that's fine. So funny thing about that arcade stick I found out after I got it, um, Capcom actually released a home console in Japan, uh, sort of like the Neo Geo, to play their um, arcade games from uh, the CPS system, like Street Fighter Generation. And they decided to make it have the same plug as the Super Famicom, um, and then it ended up being not very successful, um, perhaps staying the obvious, but it was more popular as an arcade stick for the, the Super Nintendo than it was for as an actual game console. That's kind of cool. Don't let him push you around like that, Dale Ellis. Oh, Wesley Person with block. No, stop him. Get him. There we go. Earn it. Oof. No. Yeah. Celebrate now, Charles. Is that the pick? Maybe? No. Whoa, what was that? Dang. How do foul shots work in this game? Um, so there is a, uh, a cross um, with a ball going back and forth on it. And you have to, the ball moves at a different speed, uh, depending on how your free throw rating is. And then if you stop the ball um, when it's in the middle for both of them, you make it. The The timing window is very tight in this game, tighter than I remember. Um, that is one statistical category in which we've been doing very poorly. Oh, why did I think that was a good idea? Nope. Oh, they do have flagrants. Never seen it. Oh, and he's injured. Oh, now I feel bad. Sorry, wizard person. Very unsportsmanlike of me.
I also haven't had a lot of opportunity to shoot free throws. Um, one of the things about uh, this game is that they, uh, as the AI gets more difficult, they commit less fouls, fewer fouls. So I make sure the pressure is still on high. I don't know when that resets. It's still high. Okay. So it just resets by the game, not the app. I don't know why they only got one shot. Because they treated it like a technical. There is a uh, crossover dribble button, but I just pressed it. So as you can see, it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot. There we go. Wow, field goals are exactly the same. Just goes to show you how valuable the three-point shot is. We're up by, what, 11? Something like that. Get away, dog. There you go. Ugh. If I can get it past me. Sometimes it'll let you get a layup and around them like that. I guess uh, L.A. Perry was just uh, too good defensively. Only up six. All right. We get our heads back in the game here. Oh, get it back. not working. Let's try this lineup. Yeah, three. And uh, that bucket, by the way, was brought to you by uh, Spitz the Great, uh, our patron at the buy a bucket level. So he bought me that one just when I needed it. So thank you very much, Spitz the Great. It was much appreciated. That's better. Being up by eight feels a lot better than being up by four. Like, more than twice as good. Nope. There we go. Tracy Murray taking back over. Thank you. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, yeah. I stand corrected. So one of my uh, hypotheses in this game uh, was <laughs> that, you know, you could take a guy like Tracy Murray who, you, oh, no, I was trying to rebound. Not make you shoot full court. I like how uh, the AI called a half trap, half court trap for me when they were standing almost directly. Past. I thought there was no chance. Yeah, I chalked a couple plays ago. Me, me neither. It's quite a distance out. Yes, yeah, so there are these guys, you know, Tracy Murray, uh, Steve Kerr was one of them, which I'm 
assuming was part of the reason that he's been the, the coach who's kind of architected the new offense in Golden State. Um, that, uh, you know, if they played today, you know, they'd be all-stars. And, you know, Murray had a great career, you know, no question about it. You know, he won a ring with the Rockets. Um, you know, played 12 years, I think. You know, that's pretty good. See what happens when I try to pass the ball? There it is. They're shooting 48% from three-point range. They're shooting zero percent. Have they even taken any? I think they took one, which I blocked. That's crazy, but that that's the 90s. People didn't shoot threes back then. Ah, uh, the hook shot. And I shouldn't take threes that look like that. If I do, I should at least recover the ball. Nice pass by Barkley. Push him out of bounds. Nope. Push him out of bounds. Come on. Get that. Shoot it! Not, like, there. So what happens when I try to pass the ball. Ruffin, just shoot it. Oof. What was I thinking? My hubris. All right, nine point lead. Take it. So the Suns actually have made three more baskets than we have, but our 16 baskets that were worth one point more each. Definitely make up for that. So they've taken two. Made none. All right, Dallas Chaparral's. Um, I am going to... I'll go with the easy one. I'll guess the Mavericks. Spurs! Oh, that, that makes sense. Oh, good. Puzzle person was not hurt that bad. Thank goodness. It really is incredible what a difference uh, the line changes can make in uh, plus minus if you're interested for. Uh, the first few games, I ran some uh, plus-minus stats um, online. It's just unbelievable how much variance there is. And we'll go with something that somewhat resembles our starting lineup, except that all for Miller now. Um, the Benoit Benjamin um, is going to be traded, most likely, but that's uh, that's up to you. If you have an opinion about that, whether we should keep him, uh, where, should, where we should send him, uh, become a patron. Uh, Got a few more weeks to do it. I believe I said uh, November 23rd, um, the weekend before Thanksgiving, American. Go ahead and check it out. Ugly. I don't mind the uh, isometric camera angle, but it does make it really hard to line up uh, rebounds. Box four, huh? So I can remember how that was. I only memorized what to do with the plays as the point guard in the pre player lock moments. Someone's got to be open. No, no one's open. There's double teaming me and everyone else is covered. Nope. 
into traffic. Looked a lot like what Michael Jordan was trying to do uh, towards the end of the Bulls game. They were coming back. Nice. No! Nope. Ah. Bah. Yes. Brutal. Oh. Man. First Wesley Person gets his revenge. Ugh. Fine time to lose your shot. So we are up by three. This is a good number. How do you get a defensive foul when we had the ball? Okay, we gotta regroup a little bit here. Massenberg hasn't played yet, this might be a mistake. Let's see how it goes. Tony Massenburg had a horrific plus-minus for the first few games, but then he had a really solid game against the Bulls, ultimately. No. All right, I just... We need to stop shooting. Murray, I think he's getting too tired. Now, what do you think, Spitz? Should I sit him? Suns just took their first lead since the first quarter. Nice. Massenberg, take that all the way and shoot it. There you go. Tony Massenberg, and that basket, just in time, was brought to you by Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist, patron at the buy a bucket level, and I do so ever appreciate that bucket. Very well timed. Shoot it! No! Don't pass it to me! Shoot it! All right. Back in the game. Nice. I look at this lineup, they're doing pretty well. Nice. a risky pass. Oof. Man. Hartley did not like that. Hey, come on, Benjamin. Bring it in. Don't let him push you around. Ugh, fine. Ugh. Murray. Now or never. Yes! Yeah. 
Okay, nice. I will take the open lane. Oh, he doesn't have any gas left in the tank at all. I thought I'd be able to run him for the whole game, but... I pressed turbo and nothing happened. Nice. I got dinner and came back, and it's a game. Indeed. Basically, what you missed is Tracy Murray ran out of gas. Might have to sit him. See? Ugh. So, what's your opinion? What's the greatest? If I sit him down, do I player lock somebody else? Do I put it in coach mode? I don't think I can still play him. Player lock somebody else. All right. I'm going to go with Dale Ellis. See if he can save this game. mode yeah I don't think that would end too well for me well I wonder if I can still make him shoot in coach mode that'd be interesting nice that's it Dale Ellis reminding everyone why he is the league leader in points per game four games in believe it or not now granted the team did score 199 points one of those Let's do this. Three. That's it. Now start working that clock. It's true. This is a tight one. We uh, only beat the Pacers by four. Five, I think, maybe three. It was one of those five, three kind of possessions. I can't remember where we ended up. Give and go. Give it back. That's nice. I will take the fast break points where I can get them. Though. Eight seems like a good margin. Oof. AC Green. All-time NBA leader for most consecutive games played. Nope. No, I don't like that. Get that out of there. Gonna reset here. Not a bad roll. Oh man, I just got open. It's all right. Barring gross incompetence on my part, it looks like the Raptors are going to be 5-0 and oh momentarily. Thanks everyone very much for watching the stream. Ellis is going to hold out for the last shot. Oh, or he's going to fall stolen by AC Green. All right. Here's where that gross incompetence comes in. That I mentioned. Not that game, what am I reading? Now is the time where we put in our best passers. Let's make sure nothing gets picked off. Let's 
This actually would not be an awful lineup if Stoudemire and Ruffin were reversed. And if I had a third point card. Which I might, depending on the uh, what we end up doing with the uh, Benoit Benjamin trade. Which you can vote on my Patreon, if you wish. Alright. Five seconds to go. No, I guess I gotta bring myself up the court. Ooh! <laughs> Alright. This is our closest game yet. Squeaked it out. 90 to 88. Now that's a mid 1990s NBA score if I've ever seen one. Player of the game, Tracy Murray. 67 points for him. Very nice. Maybe he'll be the league leader in points per game. I think he was on the leaderboard. Field goal percentage uh, took a little bit of a hit, but three pointers looking nice and healthy. 40% from beyond the arc. 18 up 44. Suns and then Nemec one for four. Trailed and rebounds like usual. I think this is the first game we've uh, been out assisted by the other team. Blocks and steals, of course. Very solid. Let's take a quick look at our uh, teams. Yeah, everybody did. Uh, Rough and I think the only other guy in double digits. They all ended up with nine. Uh, not too shabby. Bench, not too much. 57 attempts for Tracy Murray. 45% from the field and 57 attempts is not so bad. Of course, a lot of our three pointers, Murray. And uh, these folks who shot zero, I think those were the uh, the accidental threes. No free throws. Uh, offensive rebounds. The downside of player lock is it screws the stats. That is true. These are quite rather screwy. Murray with five defensive rebounds. I'll, uh, I'm happy with that, considering that I was him. Uh, no blocks for Damon Stoudemire, who was actually on the league leaderboard for blocks, proving what the end is. It's an accurate NBA simulation. Uh, five foot ten inch Damon Stoudemire. Gotta block those shots. Steals been pretty well. I only got one, but, you know, hey, all right. No assists for me. Not for lack of trying, guys. Oh, sorry. That's that for player stats. Let's take a look at where our shots were. There we go, I don't really like those top of the key uh, shots there. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, Carlos Rogers, no shots for him. Dale Ellis by a night. Oliver Mula. I wonder if that was a cross court shot. They just moved it. If I pressed the wrong button. Stoudemire, Brady, Anemic. Lionel Simmons. But look at that. What a dunk that was. 50% shooting, but that's right 50%. Uh, Pinkney from behind the backboard. Turns out you uh, don't want to shoot it into the backboard from the other side of it. I think that's what we've learned tonight. Bunch of zeros down there. And that is that. So we will save. Take a look at the standings, see how everybody else is doing. Uh, up there. We go to the East uh, Knicks. Actually, a game up on us. 6 0 to start off the season. Even Orlando's lost. Golden State, very a historical 5 0 start. Uh, they did not have the strongest of seasons this year. And Utah, 5 0 as well. Fellow Canadian team with a winning record. So that's also a little ahistorical, but hey, you know. Take a look at our league leaders. There we go. That's what I like to see. Everything's coming up Canada. Minutes per game, I won't be on that ever again because I'll be playing fewer minutes. Look at that field goal percentage. Hey, Chris Gatling finally missed a shot. He's been uh, sitting at 100% for a while. Free throw percentage will not be us. 
three point percentage. So we got Murray and Ellis both up there with, as you can see, considerably more attempts than everyone else. Uh, B.J. Armstrong, of course, drafted by the Raptors, didn't end up playing there. Um, and then uh, Curry, uh, Del Curry, father of Steph and Seth. Not rebound leaderboards, that's no big surprise. 90 attempts in five games. So, Tracy Murray up there with block, block shots. Uh, Damon Stoudemire just trailing Scotty Pippen for steals. Carlos Rogers, that's it. That's a surprise. Forgotten he was so high on this. Murray, of course, up there as well. Jimmy King. All right, so that is that for the evening. So as you can see on here, the next game will be traveling to Charlotte on the road, and we'll be. Uh, showing that tomorrow night at uh, 9 p.m. Uh, Toronto time. And then uh, after that on Wednesday, we'll be uh, back in Canada to host the Utah Jazz. Uh, so thanks very much for uh, watching tonight. I hope you all have a great evening. Uh, thanks for coming out.